Today I have a new little friend to introduce to you. Today I want you to meet our new little rat, Reepicheep. It's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. Today I have a new little friend to introduce to you. Today I want you to meet our new little rat, Reepicheep. So he is right here behind me. He is very active, so he's probably going to be making noise and moving around and all of that. But this is Reepicheep. I will get him out and give you a closer look, but I want to introduce him to you. He is our new little rat that we got. He is adopted from our local Humane Society. He is about four months old, they think, and he definitely is a baby because he's pretty small but he is currently in quarantine we've had him for about a week at this point we are pretty sure he has a respiratory infection which i will get into the reason that he is currently in this smaller cage is one he is in quarantine i highly recommend quarantining any new animal not just going straight to bonding make sure there's no health issues or anything like that because for example we are pretty sure that reaper cheap here or cheap cheap as i call him um, has a respiratory infection so he has been sneezing and rubbing his face and all of that so i'm pretty sure he needs to be on antibiotics for a little bit he has a vet appointment scheduled this upcoming week, so we will get him all checked out. The second reason that he is in this cage is because he is pretty small. He is baby, as I said, and he fit through the bars of the cage that we had him in. And I had it all baby proofed with hardware cloth, but I just wanted to make sure he wasn't gonna try to force his way out or get injured or anything like that. So we did get this one, has half inch bar spacing, so he cannot get out. It is secure for him. That's why he's in this smaller cage. I don't think this cage is big enough to house adult rats for like an extended period of time but it works great for him since he is a little guy. I wanted to tell you a little bit about Reaper Cheap's story so if you have been following my channel for a while then you probably know that at this point we are not really adopting animals unless we have a specific reason that we want them so for in his case we want, we have been looking for another rat or pair of rats to bond with Noodle and Ollie. Noodle and Ollie are about two years old and I don't want anyone to end up alone. So we are going to be attempting to bond little Cheep Cheep here with Noodle and Ollie in the near future once he has a clean bill of health. However, he does have a pretty sad story. So Reaper Cheep is actually a failed feeder rat, which means that somebody bought him from a pet store, attempted to feed him to their snake, their snake did not want to eat him, and that person was nice enough that he actually set Reaper Cheep up in a little bin and had a little place for him and realized that he was really social and outgoing and decided to take him to our local shelter so that he could have a pet home, which honestly is really awesome. Um, not everybody would do that. They would either return it to the pet store or just 
try to refeed it to their snake, I guess. Um, but luckily he took him to our local shelter and we were able to adopt little Cheep Cheep and give him a good life. So Reba Cheep has been settling in super well. Um, he's super active. I'm really excited for when we get to bond him because I have never done that before and I just want to kind of see how it goes. But he is a very outgoing social little guy. He does chew on us a little bit. He's a little bit bitey, but I think that is more of like a food response. He right now associates humans with food. So we are working on handling him so that every single time that a human is around touching him or handling him, he doesn't associate it with food. So that is something we're working on. He hasn't like drawn blood or anything, but he's just a cute little guy. He's definitely social. He'll come up and see what you're doing. He wants kind of to have attention when I'm here talking to him, he will come up and be like, what's going on? And he's always interested in what we're doing since we're in the living room a lot, which is where he is in quarantine right now. So he's settling in super well. We got this cage for him, which I'm glad because again, I didn't want him to get hurt. And hopefully in the near future, we will be bonding him with Noodle and Ollie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to meet our new little cheap, cheap boy. I will of course be posting about him on Instagram and probably will do an update. And of course we'll be doing a bond video whenever he has a clean bill of health and we can bond. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!